In a similar way to the previous video, where we were solving exponential equations, uh, this time we're going to be looking at logarithmic equations. So it's going to be done in a very similar way. So let's have a look at log x equals 8 to start off with. So previously, when we were dealing with e to the x equals a number, we would log both sides. Here, what we can do is e both sides. Okay, so what I can do is I can have e to the log of x is equal to e to the 8. And we know that e and log invert one another. So when I have e and log right next to each other like that, then I just get left with x. So the exact answer to this first question is x is equal to e to the power of 8. Okay, so e to the power of 8 is 2980.957987. Okay? So that would be question one. So let's let have a look at number two. So number two, 5 log x minus 2 is equal to 70. So first of all, add 2 to both sides. Then what you want to do is divide both sides by 5. Okay? And then you're at a stage very similar to what we had before. So you can e both sides, and e to the log x is just x, which will be equal to e to the 72 over 5. Okay? So that's the exact answer, okay? the exact solution. So e to the 72 over 5 as a decimal is 1,794,074.773. To three decimal places. Okay? It's quite a large number. Then we've got number three. So number three, log of 5x minus 3 equals 3. So what we're going to do here is we're going to e both sides, and what's going to happen is that if I e log of 5x minus 3, and I'm going to have e to the 3 on the right hand side. The e and the log are now next to each other. And so, what's going to happen is they're going to cancel each other out, they're going to invert one another, and I'm just going to be left with that 5x minus 3. So I've got 5x minus 3 is equal to e to the 3. Add the 3 to both sides, and then divide through by the 5. Okay? So that would be the exact answer. On the calculator, if you plug that in, e to the 3, add 3, then divide by 5, and you get 4.617 to 3 decimal places. Okay? But that's the exact answer there. And that's how we can solve equations that, that have logarithms in them.